Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to publish content in the Facebook Business Suite. Last year, I spent over 400 hours in the Facebook Business Suite posting content for my own page and for clients as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go and what you can do to put out Facebook posts, Instagram posts, Facebook stories, and Instagram stories. So just before we get started, don't forget to leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the homepage of the Facebook Business Suite. And in order to publish content and posts and stories, there are two options we can look at. The first one is to go over to the planner section over here on the left-hand side of the screen, which is in the menu section. Uh, of the Facebook business suite, or we can go over to create story and create post. Now, my recommendation is to use the create story and create post section on the home page here if you have one off content. What we are going to do is we are going to go over to the planner and we are going to work within this section right over here because it provides you with a visual illustration of the content which is uh, set to be published, and you can then map out when you want the various content pieces to go up. So as you can see right here, I've got a piece of content that has been scheduled in advance. And this gives you an indication of what it looks like. And the same thing for Facebook right over here. Now, I did prepare this for today's tutorial to give you an idea of what it looks like when you have the preview. Great thing about the Facebook Business Suite is it incorporates the publishing tools which Facebook has previously had into this calendar right here. So in order to get started with creating your first post, we're just going to click on the blue button create in the top right hand corner. This is going to bring up the opportunity for you to create your first Facebook post in the business suite or Instagram post if you have a connected account as well. And we're going to select both accounts because we want the content to be going on to both platforms. And we're just gonna put some text in here. As you can see already, it's generating a preview on the right hand side over here of what the post is going to look like. So it provides a very good visual illustration as to what type of content your target audience and followers and subscribers are going to see on the different platforms. The great thing about this preview section is it includes desktop and mobile newsfeed. So you can have a look at whether the desktop uh, feed is the same as the mobile feed or whether the image needs to be cropped and edited to meet the requirements. We're going to add that image in right now. We're going to select a, a one that's been well spec for Facebook. And there it is right there. And it's a simple image of myself with some background. We hope everyone is having a great week. That's the preview. Here we are on Instagram. Hope everyone is having a great week. It's a nice, simple post. It gives you the opportunity to engage with your audience. And if you want to get it published straight away, you can select the publish button right over here. If you want to save it as a draft and come back and work on it later, you can do that as well. If you want to schedule the post in advance, like that post that I just showed you before, you can select schedule post and it gives you the opportunity to post on the day and the time that you think works best for your audience. And if you wanna get advice from Facebook on the most optimal times to post, you just select the optimal times button right over there and it'll give you a recommendation. So as it is you know, coming up to 7.13 right now, we think that's a good idea. We're going to publish it at that time and we're going to do it on the 11th of January and we're going to schedule that post. Exit out from it and as you can see once you refresh the screen a little bit uh, it comes up with the post that's going to be going out at that time the most optimal time for Facebook and Instagram posts for my particular industry. This may vary for your particular industry and I would advise that you look at what Facebook is saying because with the artificial intelligence they have, the optimal times are normally the times where people are most likely to engage with your post, whatever it may be about. Now, if we go over here to the three dots in the corner, if you aren't quite happy yet with 
uh, what has been done. You can edit the post and maybe add in some hashtags. You could look at, you know, changing the image out if you're not happy with it. If you find that particular posts uh, have worked really well, you can create a duplicate of that post and repurpose it in a small sense and that way you're not having to reinvent the wheel you know what content has engaged well with your uh, followers and an audience base and you can just repurpose it if you want to reschedule it to a different time you can click on reschedule post and that'll bring up a little calendar and clock time here and you can choose to publish it on different dates so let's say 13th of january is what we want it's then going to move the content over um, from the 11th over here over to the 13th and as you can see right here there we go so Facebook one's still set for uh, the 11th but the Instagram post is set for the 13th now the final thing I wanted to show you as well is that if you are uncertain or don't like the post at all you just hit that delete button and remove the post altogether and it will completely wipe it out great thing about this is you can also add by date a post or a story or schedule an ad as well so let's go and show you how to create a story so very simple policy um, to previously creating a story it's just in one simple place as well and the most important thing that you want to have here is you want to have a good image that you can use that shows up accurately on Facebook and Instagram stories. Remember the ratio there is one by one. So you want to make sure that it's something that people can see with relative ease on Facebook and on Instagram as well. If you are adding text, make sure that it's in an area that is above the image and is not interrupting with a person's face on the platform. So for this one right here, let's say we want to add some text we're just going to click on it right here and say enjoy the week and again you can change it by color options here you can change the font options just underneath the add text button here let's change it to Montserrat and let's change the text color to something that is um, going to slot in quite nicely let's go with the gold color right here and put it in above the text there and you can also add stickers into the story as well let's add a little fire flame into into the text as well and shorten it right there look at that tons of great options available if you're setting um, you know a particular mood or particular theme having these stickers can be a great way of doing that and if you really want to get a little advanced say you're offering something of value to people you can include a swipe up link that is included in the story as well and we're going to select that swipe up link uh, right now and we'll just use my website and include that right over there and what people can do is they can just simply swipe up to have a look so you'd best to include text that is you know new freebie offer swipe up to claim uh, new video is up you know swipe up to watch now something like that often works very well as you can see right here you know you've got the swipe up link right there the see more that's normally enough to get people going and once again, you can either share the story straight away by clicking the blue button down below, or you can schedule it by clicking the drop down button on the right hand side and scheduling the story. And again, you'll be given, you know, the times that you can publish it. And we're just going to follow this similar structure here. We'll go for the 14th of January. We'll select save. Make sure that everything's working, have a final check image looks fine text looks good it's ready to publish let's schedule it and it will come up shortly and we'll be able to see it right over here on the 14th excellent so that's a basic overview everybody on how to 
publish content out of the business suite. If you're wanting to do it on a particular day, let's say you're wanting to get your content together on a daily basis, what you want to do is you can just simply go to each particular date and there's a little arrow right here and you can schedule a post and a story on that particular day. And the great feature of this is it allows you to see the content consistently show up. That's been one of the hallmarks of incorporating uh, all of the Facebook tools and Instagram tools together into the business suite. Is if you're ever getting lost uh, within this tool here, you can go to schedule a post or a story, or you can go back to the home page and right up the top here, there's the opportunity for you to create a story or to create a post uh, right from the comfort of the business suite home. I'm gonna leave it there today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to smash that like button down below and leave a comment as well. If you have any questions or you've got any um, video suggestions, for the next Business Suite tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.